Okay, World Language Department, this is uh, John here. I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of an overview of Padlet. There are many different formats you can choose from. This is kind of a standard one. It's a wall where people can make posts to it, of, depending on what, you, what theme you set up for the wall. So I just kind of created this bananas for Padlet wall, which means you guys can kind of test it out and try it out and see how it might apply in your class. And this is one of the things we should be doing right now. It's kind of experimenting a little bit without driving ourselves too crazy. Uh, maybe incorporate one new thing as opposed to 50 new things at once. Um, depending on your comfort level. But if you look, this is the wall over here and the uh, kind of use this special mouse over here. You can see there's the title and there's an icon I put in there, a banana, because we're going bananas. And there's this random uh, ice cream background, which I thought was kind of cool. You know, why not? Just keep it. But you can change the background to be whatever you like. Um, there's lots of different options there. Um, but on the right-hand side over here, let me go back to my fancy mouse thing here. Uh, you can enter your title in. You can kind of create a description. You can choose an icon. Again, I chose the banana. Um, you can create an address, you know, if you wanted to, a unique one if you wanted to, to make it easy for your students. There's the wallpaper selection. You can pick from several different wallpapers. You click on that. So you got some different variations here. I won't go through them. Um, the color scheme, you can kind of get fancy. That's usually set up as a default. It randomly creates one, so you might just stick with it in terms of making it quick and easy for you. Um, attribution means that you can have people's names, you know, attributed above their posts, or you can not. You can just turn it off or turn it on. I'm going to leave it on so we can see what everyone posts. Um, you can figure out how you want people's names to appear first, last, etc. cetera. Um, comments, do you allow viewers to comment on posts? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to let you guys comment on each other's posts. Reactions. So you can have uh, different reactions. It's default is to none, but you can have people like the posts. You can have people upvote or downvote posts. You can have stars. You can even give grades. Um, so some different reactions you can add to people's posts depending on what you want to do with it. And then here's the content filtering. So you can require approval so that way any of your students kind of gets a little, uh, you know, a little uh, rambunctious. We can moderate that. But uh, for you guys, I trust you guys. I'm going to leave it unchecked. Filter profanity. It turns into bad, bad words into little emojis. You can do that just to keep the swearing down. But anyways, a lot of flexibility, so maybe you can find a way to use this as, a, as an asynchronous option to where students can maybe drop questions on there and help each other out in an interactive way, or maybe you want them to react to something. And this is a way to catch their reactions without um, you having to keep the storefront open in some sense. So I encourage you to give it a shot. Maybe you can use it, maybe not. Um, anyways, my screencast for it to help walk you through it.